Can his Latrans just sent me a scope and a retter to review. The scope got a lot of features. It's filled with nitrogen, so it can't fog on the insides. The description also says it's waterproof. Let's check this. The manufacturer says it will hold its zero also if it gets bumped around. So I just zeroed the scope to about 30 meters. Let's see if it's really impact proof. Let's try this. The distance to the targets is 20 meters, which is about 66 feet. I attach the camera behind the scope, so you can really see what's going on. It also has an illuminated crosshair with 5 intensity levels of red and green, which are very handy in dark areas and especially at night missions. The magnification is variable from 1 to 4. What I really like about the scope is the fact that I can do all adjustments by hand and also with gloves on. The red dot is really tiny but still performs as good as a full size one. It comes with a mount for a 20mm Picatinny rail. The housing is made of aluminium and it really feels like it's undestroyable. Even this small bow is made of one thick aluminium piece. Due to its compact size, the red dot is still very lightweight. On the left side is the Kenny's Latrans lettering. On its right side are the three operating buttons. Power on and the up and down buttons to change between the four brightness levels. For zeroing in the red dot there are these two adjustment screws. To change the battery, simply loose the two screws on top and take off the base mount of the red dot side. Afterwards, remove the rubber sealing to get access to the CR2032 lithium battery. To mount the optic onto a rifle, simply tie the small screw on the side with the included allen branch. I really like the tactical look of this compact red dot on a small SMG like this. Let's see how it performs. So the scope and the red dot do a really great job. I mean, the scope is shockproof, waterproof, fogproof and made of this massive aluminium tube. There's just no way to break this thing in an airsoft game. It has this nice 1 to 4 variable magnification which is perfect for airsoft distances. It got the illuminated mill dot crosshair which is also a nice to have. And of course all adjustments can be done with our tools at the scope. What's also a really nice feature is that you can combine the scope and the red dot to one aiming unit like this which can be very handy especially if you're running a DMR because you can change between the two optics just by raising the head a few centimeters. The red dot is nice too, it's compact, it's small and super massive. It will not break and it will not let you down. To be honest I've never heard of the company Canis Latrins before but it seems like they got some really high quality stuff. If you're interested in getting one of these optics I will put links in the video description below. I hope you guys enjoyed the review, I will see you guys in the next one.